Communication is one of the first things we've ever taught to do. As we grow into adults and enter the world of work, it's one of the first skills we put in our resume because it's inbuilt in all of us. So why do so many suffer from communication breakdown? Communication breakdown is defined as the failure to exchange information resulting in a lack of communication. This definition is quite ambiguous, or it doesn't really tell what information wasn't exchanged, or how does it lack. To make it clearer, I'm going to mention some common examples of how a communication breakdown in school can happen. The teacher making a mistake due to miscommunication or not enough information given in the faculty meeting. The same with the student make a, making a mistake due to miscommunication or not enough information given by the teacher. Two students doing the same task and not realizing. A teacher not treating a parent correctly. Certain vital tasks not being completed either on time or to the highest standard because no one in the class is giving updates to each other. And a student spreading incomplete or wrong information about a project because he misheard what their teacher was saying. Communication breakdown is very common because of the barriers that tend to make communication complex, difficult, and frustrating. So in the next PowerPoint presentation, the 11 barriers to communication will be discussed.